In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the outlet collections. So what we're trying to do here is trying to redesign these four ohm buttons. These buttons, they don't perform any action, but we just want to design them so that we have, so that we have the rounded corners and we have the border color to be gray. So what I've done is I've created four outlets for these buttons. I mean, this is what I would do when I was new to iOS. So I created a reference to each one. I'll create an IB outlet for each of the control. And then I will come and set the properties like this. So here I'm setting the corner radius and the border width, the border color, and then the clips to bound. So I pasted the code four times for the four buttons. That's a terrible idea because if in the future I want to change the corner radius to something like eight and I want to change the border width to two, then I have to come here and change them multiple times. What if we have 10 buttons? So it's really bad idea not to, it's really bad idea to do it this way. So I wanna show you a better way. So what we'll do is we'll delete all of this code. Actually, let's delete three of them. And then for this one, I'm just going to comment it out. Okay, let's comment this one out and I'll show you why. Now we go back to the storyboard so that we can delete the IB outlet connection. So I'm going to delete connection from each of the buttons. Once I've deleted that, um, it is now safe to delete all the IB outlets here. Now let's create an IB outlet connection. So what the IB outlet connection does is to put all your controls, similar controls into the same uh, collection. So it's going to be an array of that controls. So that means you are able to manipulate those controls with a very small chunk of code. So let's create one. Just drag normally like you would drag on assistant editor drop it but instead of the outlet you want to change it to an outlet collection and i'm going to call this one om buttons always remember to use something like a plural so that you know that you're dealing with a multiple items so i'm going to click on connect so as you can see it's now created an array of buttons so once that has been set up the next thing that we want to do now is to connect the portfolio button but i want to show you another way to create your um, referencing outlet or the referencing outlet collection. So if you go to the connection editor here, the last one here says referencing outlet collection. So if you click inside this circle, which is onto plus and then drag onto the control where you want to connect to, drop it, you can see that it presents me with home buttons. So I'm gonna select that. So you see, it's connected it to the home button as an outlet connection so let's do the same thing for contactors just drag from here onto the about us button select the on buttons and then let's do that for the contact us select that so now if you look at all our buttons they all have they don't have the reference in outlet they have the reference outlet collections so they're now part of the same group so let's go into the code and now write a simple for loop. So if you don't know how to write for loop, you need to watch one of my Swift videos, which is free. So I'm going to say for, so we want to get each button in on button. So we're looping through the button. So that's a simple for loop. So and I'm just going to copy this code and I'm going to paste it here. Let me delete this one. So as you can see, we can now change this one to button. So that means it's going to do that for all our buttons. So this is how you use a, a outlet collection. So that means we're looping through the buttons and then we're changing the property of each of the buttons. So in the future, if you have to change the uh, border color to some other color. You only have to change in one place. You don't have to change it four times. So if you don't know how to use hardware connection, this is the best way. So let's change the border color to red. So we can see the changes applied to all the four buttons. So in this video, you've learned two things. You've learned how to, a different way to set your outlet connection and also a way to use outlet collections. Thank you.